Hi, welcome to another video. This video is going to see can we update the scope. I'll let you see the error message. There we go. So system concerns detected. OS version is not correct. Please reload system firmware. This is a USB stick I tried the other month. 32 gig. Let me put it in. I had Keysight Technical saying I'm not going to the right place to find the file. Really? Right, USB detected, utility, file explorer, press to go, they are, I'm on the root directory there, there is nothing there, enter, nothing, down to user files, nothing, and then all the internal files. So nothing on this stick. Tom said he had trouble with a USB stick and said try another. So I thought normally I'd ignore that sort of thing but with the different formats which you can get I thought no don't ignore the comment check. Here's a USB adapter with an SD card formatted differently. Put this one in USB installed press to go There we go. There is the cab file I'm looking for. So March the 14th, 2023, that must be when I created it maybe. Why does it work on this and not this? This is formatted to XFAT. This is formatted to NTSF. So let me reformat this to FAT32. So I apologise for the coloured artefacts you get. This is that USB drive, NTFS, there, up the top there, is the cab file. So I can confirm, when you're updating your scope firmware, do not use NTFS. Let me format this drive, format, change it from NTFS, this one is XFAT. I'm going to format this USB drive FAT32. Right, there we go, FAT32. Start. Right, that's now formatted to FAT32. This is Tom who told me to check my USB stick. So he said he had trouble, but not why. Well, I've done a whole series on FAT16, FAT32, so I know yeah, there's maybe a format issue. There we go, USB drive is now FAT32, there's the cab file. Let's put this back in the scope. Right, same USB stick, FAT32. Wait for the message, utility, file explorer. There we go, there's the file. So I spoke to Keysight Technology Support Italy. He told me, or well, since I recognize this scope needs FAT32 or XFAT, he said the instructions on the main page for the main download will change. They should incorporate a note, use FAT32 or XFAT only, not NTFS. Now I've got a lot riding on this about oscilloscope, I've got all these licenses for my waveform generator, my serial decode. I don't want to lose these. However, another Keysight support worker has given me two license files. I don't know if I need to install them. So let's see if we can reset that initial firmware first. So, File Explorer. I'm pretty nervous. Down to the file, load file. Do you really want to update your system firmware? Okay, that's it, there's no turning back. I don't know how long it will take. It's currently 16.21. If 
fingers crossed it all works. Well look, the oscilloscope application will pause while the update continues. The oscilloscope will restart when done. Please wait. Looks like it's restarting. See all the test lights? Oh, I've not seen these colours before. Right, that's restarting. I've got no doubt this firmware will work, but it's my licenses for all my additional software. It costs over a thousand pounds, so. There we go, so that's like a brand new scope. Notice I haven't got multimeter. So I've got no error message. Right, utility. Service, about oscilloscope. Right, they're all still on there. So I guess I have to figure out how to get my multimeter back on then. It's saying all the licenses are still there. Wave gen. Let's try it. So no failure menu, that's good. So wave gen. Yes, I've got wave gen. Serial decode. Yes, I2C. If you're not familiar, CAN, I2C, LIN, SPI, UART. Well, that all looks good. So, how do I... Right, come off. Right, this is the digital channels. That was over £600 to get these eight digital channels. So that's going. Very nice. Maths, ref, very nice. Turn the digital off. It looks like it's working. I've got no idea how to add my multimeter back. And that multimeter came with the scope. I might have to look at the manual. Well, it's been so long since this multimeter has not been turned on. I press analyze features digital voltmeter a mask test so as you saw if I press analyze the meter comes up here and there press escape analyze mask test that all looks good with reference to Keysight support, they will sell companies a package and they do not sell that package to end users. That, I, guess that mo I guess most of that support is if you need support on how to use your equipment. I don't need support on how to use this scope. I needed support in how to get the firmware back in. And I can now confirm when you reinstall the firmware, it does not wipe out your licenses. So that's really good news. The other issue is Keysight prefer to sell to companies some safety thing where people have more protection or people get a various amount of protection, safety protection within a company and that differs from end users. So Keysight prefer to sell to companies, not end users. Uh, Francesco in Italy told me that. So I'm happy, no error messages. So thank you to Keysight Support for helping me out. So to reiterate, updating the firmware on your scope, you cannot use NTFS, you must use FAT32 or XFAT. You should see the instructions on the internet page, Keysight's internet page. You should see the instructions change to include this new information. So I'm happy I finally got there in the end. 
Thank you for your support and thank you for all the previous comments regarding this scope. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.